டேர்ம் த்ரீ செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஜோகிரஃபி செகண்ட் லெசன் மேப் ரீடிங் இன் திஸ் லெசன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் மேப்ஸ் ஸ்கேல்ஸ் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேப்ஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேப்ஸ் அண்ட் லேர்ன் அபவுட் தி லெஜெண்ட் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் சிம்பிள்ஸ் மேப்ஸ் ஏ மேப் வியூவர்ஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் ப்ரெஸ் பெல் பட்டன் இஃப் யூ லைக் திஸ் வீடியோ கிவ் லைக்ஸ் ஷேர் இட் அண்ட் கிவ் கமெண்ட்ஸ் is an tool of a geographer map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to a given scale map it means it is the representation of the earth as a whole or the part of the earth it drawn on a flat surface it is easy to handle and carry In the early times, various materials used for map as animal skin, cloth, papyrus, clay, ta- clay tablets were used. And also in the map, it can show the continents, countries, cities and even a local area. Types of maps On the basis of certain common features, maps can be classified into several types. like on the basis of a scale and basis of continent basis of scale large scale map and small scale map on the basis of the continent physical map and cultural map we'll see about what is large scale map and what is small scale map large scale map it means show small areas in greater details that is large scale map shows small areas in a large details or greater details then about cadastral map and topographical maps cadastral cadastral maps or villages and towns which shows individual fields and house sites so in the cadastral maps we can see the villages towns and also individual fields and houses sites then topographical maps it shows smaller areas in much greater details like large scale map so large scale map shows small areas greater details like topographical maps to shows same thing then small scale map it shows a large areas like continents or countries these maps are drawn on 1 cm which is equal to 1000 km these are called small scale it means in the map that is 1000 km area is covered by the 1 cm it shows by the 1 cm 1000 km areas shows by the 1 cm that is what it shows the small scale maps large areas types of atlas there are the four types of atlas like school atlas advanced atlas regional atlas and national atlas maps on the basis of continent that is physical map shows natural features like relief geology soils drainage elements weather and vegetation relief maps what is relief maps it shows general topography like mountains valleys plains plateaus and rivers in the relief maps we can see the mountain valleys plains plateaus and rivers geological maps what we can see in the geo- geological maps it means like geological structures rocks and minerals climatic maps what we can see in the climatic maps it means distribution of temperature rainfall clouds etc soil maps in the soil map we can see the distribution of different types of soil and their properties cultural maps cultural maps shows the man made features are called as cultural maps political maps in the political maps we can see the administrative division of a country state or district population maps population map show the distribution density and growth of population occupation structure and literacy in the economic maps in the economic maps what we can see that is it 
based on the production and distribution of different types of crops and minerals etc transportation maps in the transportation maps we can see the roads railway lines and location of railway stations airports and seaports these are the things we can see through the transportation maps elements of maps the basic essential elements of a map are title direction scale and legend or key and signs and symbols so these are the elements we can see in the map that is basic elements or title direction scale legend or key signs and symbols these are the elements or in the maps title every map has a title that describes the information in the map for example a map with the title india rivers so shows rivers of india title what is title it means what map is that it shows like example map with the title india rivers shows rivers of india direction in general maps are drawn with north orientation it helps us to find other direction on the map like east west and south scale what is scale in the map the scales can be represented as 1 cm equal to 10 km it means 1 cm on the map is equal to 10 km on the ground legend or key A legend or key of a map explains symbols that are used on it to represent various physical and cultural features. Legend or key it means they explain the symbols that are used in the represent various physical and cultural features. Every map has a legend or a key which explains the different colors and symbols. used on it for example major road minor road major road seems to be like thick line and minor road seems to be thin line that also used red color lake if they shows in the map it seems to be blue color wetland seems to be green color so this is called as the legend or key uses of maps first point maps enable us to know details of the landforms through the map we know about the details of the landforms second point maps help the military man to move so through the map the military or army officers can move then it is used third point it is used in the airplanes and ships fourth point maps are used for weather forecasting comparison of map and globe map is a two dimensional form of the earth globe it means three dimensional model of the earth map second point a map shows a small or large area but globe is a true model of the earth map third point a map can show a detailed information about an area but in the globe cannot show the detailed inf- information of an area map fourth point a map is a very easy to carry but the globe is not easy to carry this is the comparison of maps and globe